Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Tempo Sejuani. Kind of throwing it back a little bit to this deck. This was um, one of the most played decks there for a little bit for like a month or two. Um, you know, just a really good deck curving out with Misfortune, Sejuani, turning on Plunder. Um, nothing really too fancy about the deck, just really efficient, hits really hard. Um, the version that we're going to be playing here today doesn't really play very many spells. We're going to be going with just units all the time. Like, we're not playing Pilfer Goods anymore with, with that being nerfed. We're just going to be going with the three Warning Shots to help turn on Plunder and three Fury of the Norths with that card, um, you know, just being spectacular. And that's that's it. Everything else are units. We're going to be going with uh, Razor Scale Hunter with a Scout. I really like that card. You know, all the Riptide Rexes, all the Yordle Grifters, everything else. So... Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and play some more, some more Bilgewater, play five games over in Ranked. We'll see how we do. <laughs> we got the Doggo over there. The Doggo is just relaxing <laughs> behind me. So that's why I got the camera set up like this. Hunt is on. All right, let me write that down. Okay, so we have Ash Sejuani. <clears throat> we have the attack token turn one. So I'll play Omen Hawk turn one. And then turn two, we could have Hired Gun. I'm basically trying to think of, do, do we want a Mulligan Jagged Butcher or not? Um... No, maybe not. All right, we'll just keep it. It may be that, like, you know, turn three, you can maybe double spell with stuff. Uh, that's not the best card. Well, I mean, it is. It's not the best card for playing, for keeping Jagged Butcher. Because now I'm looking at, like, Jagged Butcher, you know, turn five. With Fury of the North. Or I could just play it right now and not play Hired Gun. Nothing like the yeah, might as well. Sweat. I was kind of expecting them to play, you know, something for the Hired Gun, but no, they didn't have anything. So going with the 4-3 kind of um, you know, incentivizes them to trade there more, where if, it, if we had the 3-2 Petty Officer, they probably just block the 2-2 two -two, because it's only just one extra damage, and then they're able to keep their Aperos and Trapper alive still. Warden Spray is good. Going wide. No. Ah! You gotta believe me. Just leave me alone. Is this a good block? Let's see. If I don't block, they're gonna block like Jagged Butcher. They take two, four, five, six. Yeah, I think this is a good block. Well, that didn't really help. I guess we get the Sejuani ability. Ooh. How do we want to do this? Oh, the 
Okay, halfway there, down to 10. So they should have the 1 mana 5-5. Five five. Uh, so they get Ash plus 1 mana 5-5. Five five. That's pretty good. That's a great card to steal. Oh, no 1 mana 5-5. Five five. Okay, so Urchin used to be a great card to hit because, you know, it used to be the last breath draw one, and so then it was a great card to hit, but not anymore. So we're going to block with the 2-2 two, two, so that it has 3 health. Still have millions of cards. It's gonna be kind of difficult to get through and get this other ten points of damage in, to be honest. So they could pair that with a frostbite spell. That's just how life is. I mean, I I hope they don't, but it's just how life would be. It's too bad. With that being Ashes, Flash Freeze, and not... Dang. Oh, that's rough. Um, let's see. I just throw these things basically I just be throwing these things away. Probably don't just throw them away. Well, Sejuani is leveled up. If we find one, we are playing three Riptide Rex, so that's a good card to draw. Well, we could have Cannon Barrage. I think I'm going to Harsh Winds instead. That's a good challenge. That's a good challenge. I was really hoping they would challenge with one of these things. Okay. 
That's a good challenge. Not my first gun fight. I don't know, maybe... Harsh Winds is a great card to respond to Reckoning with. Like, I don't know if I could have set that up of having Harsh Winds for after Reckoning or not. Well, it didn't work very well. I was hoping to clear up the board a little bit better before Rex to be able to kill more things, but that didn't work. Winter take you. Man, these ice fill archers are killing me. with everything. Leave no survivors. Stay back. I'd love to dam damage just to happen like this and no cool, no elixir of irons anywhere. Okay, well, just on the board here, we're in a pretty decent spot. Like, we each have four cards. We have these two in play. They have a 3-1 in play. The two cards that I have in hand, three cards now, aren't particularly powerful. Which could be the, the problem. Sharpen the blade, secure the kill. The ocean charts our course. For glory, face me. The trap is set. I'll cut them apart. You're mine. You gotta believe me. Who will do not doubt? <sighs> All right, we would like to find get you noticed around here. Find Sejuani or Riptide Rex. Either one. One mana card. I don't need one mana cards or Fury of the North. That would have been a good one. I'll protect the villages. They're coming! Hi! <laughs> yeah. We were finally like a turn ago, but like I said, my cards weren't too impactful that I had left. Theirs are a little better. Can we get four damage across? 
with this little daring Poro. No. Nothing's big. Okay. Line up. Get one damage across with the Daring Poro, and then Riptide Rex. Nothing escapes my watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get infinite units, and they're all huge. No. No, it looks like we got to block with everything. Oh. Not useless yet. All we gotta do is draw a warning shot. Or, like, misfortune. Some way to turn on plunder. Okay. Alright, so this is gonna put him to three. And then I need... So I need like a whole bunch to go after the Trapper, or a whole bunch to go after Omenhawk, or a whole bunch to go after Averroes and Triparian Assess it, right? Like, we, we need, you know, like four things to target one of those three. We need four things to target one of those, or five things to target the Sentry. Well, that didn't, that didn't happen. It literally targeted the two best things. Two biggest things. Unfortunately, we didn't even put them down to one where I could just draw out with another... Right, like, if, if we put them down to one... At least, then, an, then a warning shot would still be an out for a draw step. But yeah, Misfortune wouldn't have worked. We wouldn't have had the, the regular mana for Misfortune. So close. So close. All right, own one. I <laughs> know, almost. GGs. And that was with the, with that that was with us having no no misfortune. No, no Sejuani. <clears throat> Easily our two best cards. And no Riptide Rex until, like, you know, the very end whenever we were dead. So we really didn't have the power in our deck at all. Alright, Ezreal Teemo. Well, getting... Getting completely punished for keeping Yordle Grifter. Dang. All these four mana cards. Oh my gosh. This is unreal. Time for a true display of skill. Well, glad you showed up now, Jagger Butcher. That was cool of you. So Yordle Grifter is a summon trigger, so if we bring back Yordle Grifter with Harrowing, we will, um... Why do you 
Harvey. We do bring back the Oil Grifter with Harrowing. We'll get all that again. So three, six, nine. So I can't really play Yordle Grifter right now without playing Warning Shot first. Um, do have a lot of Warning Shots. I'm going to just play this Island Navigator. Double up. Yeah, they are, they are Ezreal reanimation decks. Yeah, they want Ezreal dead. I'm not greedy. My friends, though. I have to just get rid of that to get down under 10 cards again. gonna go to next turn with attacking I think they're at 11 currently definitely mystic shot upstairs Mystic shot that thing. The ocean charts our course. Man, Warden Sprite, we're getting some good. We're getting some good one drops. I basically don't want to uh, main phase rip, you know, Riptide Rex first, and then they cast Ruination. Yeah, I guess I could have double upped. Could have done that last turn. Kill Ezreal, do four to them. I guess it would have been five to them. Yeah, I guess I could have done that. We each die, then five kind of forgot what this card does, to be honest. I don't think I've ever killed anybody with a double up before. Let's do that. Let's try to kill somebody with a double up. I've never done that before. Oh, I didn't update the decklist command. All right, well, they, they don't want me to kill them with a the double up. Then I'm going to have to give them some warning shots. Okay, decklist command will be updated in just a little bit. There we go. Updated. Okay, back up to me a little bit. Oh, <laughs> looks like the one doggo left and the, then the other one joined, took the bed. <laughs> that dog, yeah, that's hard. That's hard. She's a little, um, I guess I don't want to say her name completely because I don't want her like getting up and moving and stuff. Um. She's a little big for that bed, but not too much. 
still kind of have doggo cam going. Yeah, that shot's not much of a warning if it just kills them. Nothing like the stink of blood. What's up, Alejandro? Yeah, 4-1 with the plunder deck. Plunder deck definitely looked good. Let's get to it. Whoa, no blocks. Wow. They said no blocks. Taking it all. This is where we draw a three drop tomorrow. Time to get rich. So that's what it's like to play a three drop. Blood and guts, golden glory. I just don't want to risk it. Like, if I pass priority and they just pass back to me, I just waste my turn. I don't want to risk that. Alright, now we draw Draven. What? We're supposed to draw Draven. Uh, I guess that's basically our Draven. If you think about it. Uh, basically Draven. Fortune favors the bow. The ocean is no place for the weak. Yuck. This is awesome. We're doing lots lots of tossing over there. My two four should be attacking first. It doesn't really matter, they'll be able to gain three life blocking the two four anyway, but That always forward. You point, I shoot. Yeah, I'm out of play. So they're still at sixteen. They've already tossed tons of stuff. They only have 21 cards left in their deck. Not the best. Pass immediately. Not bad. Just give me something to play here with Sejuani. Bow to no one. They're all about these quick passes. So one jettison does not put him to deep. These waters are mine. But this next turn it will. Away. 
Get him, Sajwani. Bring me chaos. <sighs> kind of want a citrus courier. No, I do that next turn. All right, so Maokai down. <clears throat> Likely. I have That's fine. I hope they don't have jettison. For this next turn, I hope they don't have jettison. Oh, dang. Um. Huh. Now, because I kind of just need to go straight to combat. They block the 7-4. They take 3, go to 5. I can play Citrus Courier. Attack again. play another blocker though then they're only taking three going down to two uh, I don't have anything hmm not perfect I wish I could play two of these top two of these top three cards Quite bad for me, they had Jettison. The water rises. That's quite bad. So they just passed, <clears throat> which means Devour the Depths. Definitely means devour the depths. I've already played one though. This Maybe not devour depths. This is our way. I will not rest. All right, that's big. Get to kill Nautilus. That's pretty big. We do know that they played one, yeah, you know, they played the one Nautilus Riptide and shuffled the Nautilus back into their deck. From the, deep. the one time. Alright, because of Atrocity, we have to block. Yeah, how often do you see Nautilus die in combat? 
That is not something we see very often. Maybe I should have played Sejuani last turn instead of playing the 3-2. The After they played Nautilus to make it zero power so they couldn't attack with it. But Grass the Undying can save them on the 4-3. That would put them to one. They would gain three, go to five. We would hit them for four with our Razor Scale Hunter, put them down to one. Does not look like they have it. GG's. They had Nautilus with no sea monsters. That's not something you see very often at all. I don't know if I've ever really played a game like that against Deep. They just didn't have sea monsters after Nautilus. Guess they created one with Jaw Hunters, which must have been that Devourer that they played before Nautilus. Uh... I'm going to try to curve out. I do love Yordle Grifter. I just want to try to curve out. <clears throat> Playing against a very similar deck. That's too bad. Let's open my Omen Hawk. So my Omen Hawk would be able to enable the Black Market Merchant, but it wasn't. They had their own Omen Hawk to block. Have a mushroom. Have three. No thanks. The ocean whispers her secrets. Keep getting this urchin. <laughs> Sometimes I forget you have to farm carbs and carbs. Uh, farm cards in this game at first. Oh, it's mushrooms. I know, right? Bless is uh... Yeah, I'm gonna send the urchin in there. Let's do it. Got some damage on the peddler, and it is <clears throat> it's a card that we can free up some space for this other stuff. Always forward. We definitely want to kill these peddlers. So honestly, I kind of want to do the 3-1 with the Sejuani, but it's just probably a lot better to do the 5-4. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm definitely hyped for the new set for sure. Season. 
Puff, back, puff cap peddler is so good. Alright, so we're going to have 36 puff caps. By snow and, stars. and whatever card they have on top that they're pumping up with the Starlet Seer is going to be huge. They haven't, they played an Omenhawk earlier. They haven't seen the benefits from their Omenhawk. And then basically, um, I don't know, six spells, seven spells, probably. So it's probably going to be like plus, plus seven, plus eight, something like that. Well, that's pretty lucky. It's a leveled up Teemo. Um, so I can try to hit an elusive with the Island Navigator. Or I can try to take like harsh winds from them. Those are kind of my two options. The call before the storm. I don't know which one's more likely to happen. Dangerous waters. Hm. Darn. No, Sejuani's only at three. So now I'm gonna be casting the warning shot this turn. I'm gonna be having Sejuani go to four with the warning shot. The Yordle Grifter can make set 25. Ne oh, this next turn. Season. One puff cap. Great draw. Wow. That's, yeah, that's amazing. It's a good block. I need to hope that this could somehow get a point of damage crossed. Not sure exactly how it would. Ready. 
I need another warning shot, you know, because we need we need one, you know, we need to level up the Sejuani, but then we need one more after I leveled up Sejuani. Yeah, nine nine leveled up Teemo. Jeez. That was a mistake. So I didn't have to warning shot then. I could save it. I could I could do both warning shots on the same turn. You know, I do one to level up Sejuani, then do the other to frostbite the Teemo. So it's better to save it. If for some reason they would have played something pre-combat, then you know, then that turned on the Rex by saving it. Ugh. Yeah, good hand. Starlight Seer, and I mean that's that's the kind of deck I love. I love Starlet Seer, I love Puffcap Peddler. It's a really fun deck to play. And sometimes you get really good variants like that. Yep. Yeah, if, yeah. once once Sejuani levels up, then the first time that you damage the enemy Nexus after she's leveled up, then you can Frostbite. Hmm. We'll see how we can... Okay, the Black Market Merchant's probably going to have to be later, but it's definitely a good matchup for Black Market Merchant's. So we can get multiple bodies with Petty Officer, multiple bodies with Island Navigator. Cool. Keeps him from attacking, I guess. <laughs> Oh no, we missed. It can't be. That's not good. I was thinking that I'm not sure what it, exactly Island Navigator was going to do against 4 4, so I played this. So that keeps Elixir of Iron from saving Enraged Yeti. That could be a very useful card. Faster than my arrow? I could be. Not. Alright, so we know they only have one Brittle Steel left. Well fought. And they still have three mana. What did we catch? They'll play five fives. <clears throat> stuff costs no mana. Make it worth my while. Add this to your bill. Stuff just costs no mana to play. Show 
Alright, so Twani, you're out to be pretty good. Pain is nothing. Gotta hope they don't draw anything good. Stand and fight. Maybe they drew Cooling Strike. Unify the tribes. Okay, good. I need just a moment. Don't ask where it's from. Ask how much. Good. That was a clutch draw with a black marker merchant because I was scared of Glory Seeker even um, not allowing us to you know, have a blocker for the Enraged Yeti. <clears throat> now we have a blocker for the Enraged Yeti. They passed priority. A true Fanyorian welcome. There's blood in the water. Um Do still have a lot of damage to deal. So I'm not gonna just attack all out right now. Probably gonna be going with Citrus Courier this turn. Ooh. That hurts. Uh that hurts. I can't turn on plunder. I'll cut them apart. You're mine. No. Ouch, that hurts. Nothing like the stink of blood and sweat. How can you bear? Yeah, Targon. Looking sweet. Shots. Yeah, Katuna. Yeah, I used to. Why I attack after the scout round? Because then I only had two ones left, and so I didn't have any good attacks. They had a lot, you know, they had bigger blockers. Didn't really have a good attack left. Um. Sure hope that's not Fury of the North on top. Oh my gosh. Oh, I just played into that. Ride onward. That's not great. No. Dang. All right, so we only ended up with a two and three. There are some some great games, though. You know, we had some really entertaining back and forth games um, on all of those. Um, but yeah, only ended up with the the two and three. Reckoning, yeah. I mean, I um, so Reckoning was the the card they they drew the turn before, and then yeah, the Sejuani that was perfect to go alongside. I could have played around it still by not playing my Razor Scale Hunter when I did let them go to combat first. We did kind of struggle turning on Plunder. We never really had... We didn't have... I mean, we had a couple warning shots. Um, I guess we didn't have Misfortune ever, right? We had one one Misfortune throughout the five games, and it's definitely... you know be, Misfortune in Sejuani is really what this deck is built around, and so only having one Misfortune in five games. Um, 
and you know i was and i was with like a lot of mulligans and stuff too i did mulligan a lot and we only we just only drew one misfortune in five games then that can make the difference in those super close games it did seem like we needed like another spell like a make it rain would have been good maybe instead of so many razor scale hunters it did seem like we needed another spell in the deck besides just those two but i think this this deck's still pretty good um, I did like the the plunder control that we played earlier. I did like that version more than this, but maybe because maybe because we weren't curving out with misfortune ever. You know, maybe that's why our deck didn't feel as good because we never curved out with like our our uh, champion that our deck is built around. Um, all right, so that's Tempo Sejuani. Those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and feel free to uh, leave those comments as well. If you've been playing this deck, let me know how it's been going for you. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.